Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Yasharal and Yahuda. Wrapped it in Gentiles into the body of Hamashiach. We, the people of the book broadcast, is going down. See, we have to do what Yahuwah has called us to do. This is rest for us. We crying loud and we sparing not. And we lifting up our voice like a Trump in Zion. On this Shabbat, we letting Yahuwah's people know that they must be born again. Listening to my ark. Hezekiah song is entitled Messiah, Mashiach. Listen, it's a new one. He's talking about the redemption work that comes through faith in Hamashiach, the Messiah. You must be born again of the water in the Ruach Hakadosh. <laughs> the Messiah is coming back to those, for those who he has redeemed with his own blood. With his own blood. Yahuwah, I give you praise right now in the name of Yahushua Mashiach for the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. I thank you for the water and the blood. I thank you, Yahuwah, for baptizing me with water and with the Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah, I praise you because this witness is real. This witness is real. This witness is real. I give you praise, Yahuwah, for giving me everything I need to get this job done, preaching your basura of truth, declaring your word that men and women must be born again. That the shofar must be blown. Hallelujah. The shofar must be blown. We must warn the people. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. You are how you who I pray that no one be turned out of the way, that no one come up lame, that no one be caused to stumble. You who are no one. Yahuwah, I pray right now that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. I thank you for the Mashiach, Yahuwah, I give you praise for you, Shehamashiach, my high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. I thank you for you, Shehamashiach, who had offered up his blood as an atonement for my sins. I thank you for in the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach, I've been made righteous. I thank you because of the blood of Yahushua Hamashiach, I have been swept clean. I am holy. And you have put your Ruach HaKadosh in me. Set your seal of approval on me. I give you praise. Yahuwah, I pray that you would continue to fortify your people with your word. Continue to establish your people with your word. Continue to cause your people to be strong in Yahuwah and your word. Yahuwah, I pray, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Listen. Listening to this Hezekiah, man, I love this knock. I love this ark. I love this ark. I love this ark. This ark's annoying. He's singing about the Mashiach, the Messiah. You got to listen for him. Only those who have ears to hear. Only those who have received the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love this. Hallelujah. Looking for a Messiah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Looking for a Messiah. 
Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Gonna hear the show far blow. I'm listening for the Messiah. I'm listening for Messiah every day. Listen, listen, I'm prepared. I, I got oil in my lamp. I got oil in my vessel in case he tarries, but I'm ready. He's giving me his Ruach Agadesh. He put the witness in me. I'm established to the end. Again, we listen to none other than Hezekiah's song. It's entitled Messiah. I don't own the rights to this music. Yeah, I gotta love you, man. <laughs> love this song, too. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Man, if y'all want me, if y'all listen, we going in. We give you who a praise for the Shabbat. And you know what? I love the Shabbat, man. I love the Shabbat. 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 And I love Yahuwah's people. You know, I'm in this for Yahuwah's people. Right? I'm in this for Yahuwah's people. And I, and, and, I, and I love the Shabbat. I love all that Yahuwah's doing by his Ruach HaKadosh. Yahuwah's doing great things in the Ruach HaKadosh in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing it in me. <laughs> I don't take no credit for what Yahuwah does in me. It's his Ruach of truth. I'm submitted to this Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, it leads me and guides me into the truth, all truth. Listen, I love Yahuwah. I love his word. I love everything about Yahuwah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing about Yahuwah that I don't love. And listen, you know, you can't give me no idol. I don't want it. <laughs> you can't give me no graven images. I don't want them. <laughs> you can't make me an idol. I don't want to be nobody's idol. <laughs> You can't take my talent and exalt it above measure and have me get lifted up because I don't want none of that. <laughs> all I want is the Messiah, the Messiah. Listen, all I want is Yahushua's return. All I want to do is hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant, right? You have been faithful over fewer things. I'm going to make you ruler over many. That's all I want him to say. Hallelujah, hallelujah. See, I covet this Ruach HaKadosh, y'all. Listen, I covet this Ruach HaKadosh. I know this Ruach HaKadosh will give me strength to do a thing and give me ability to move in a way. It'll, 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 it'll speak through me because I, 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 I'm just so yielded to the, the Ruach. I just, all I wanted to do is what the Ruach want me to do. I, I ain't got time for the madness. No, I ain't got time for the madness. I ain't got time for the arenas. I ain't got time for the games. I ain't got time for all of these other L's that men make time for. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. I, I don't have time for that. Listen, I'm about the witness of Yusha Mashi. I got plenty of time for the witness of Yusha Mashi, but I ain't got time for none of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I have chosen my friends <laughs> wisely. Yeah, because I ain't got time for that. You know, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. Yes, I still ride a motorcycle. Yes, I love riding motorcycle, but I got time. Listen, listen, I, 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 I got time for that in the witness, right? That, that, that which I have is going to cause me to allow me to go to places, right, 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 and and, and link up with uh, Hebrews that that are all over to love to ride. But listen, the idea is that it ain't none of that important to me. It's about the Messiah. It's about the witness. I don't. I don't want to be nobody's L. I don't want no L's. I don't want anything. Oh, listen. My kids will never be my L's. <laughs> I love my kids. I pray you will for them, but they'll never be my L's. No, 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 no. I love my wife, right? Well, look, she'll never be my L. She'll never replace you. Never, never, never. The things that I have ain't nothing of value to me that. I can ascribe its worth of more than what I would receive with Yahuwah. No, nothing. There is nothing, nada, nothing. There is no way that there is an L that I am going to serve or worship that's going to replace Yahuwah Lua, right? Because he is my most high. Oh, yeah, he is Yahuwah Lua. He is the most high. Listen, my, 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 my soul makes her boast in Yahuwah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My 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 soul makes her boast in you. My emu now says, listen, you better be born again like me. <laughs> you better be born of the Ruach, water in the Ruach, like a dash like me. 
right? My emu now says, you better receive the witness, the water, the blood, and the ruach. I can dash like me. You better establish yourself in this witness through prayer and with fasting and praying in the ruach and praying with your understanding and seeking you and his Torah and besore truth like me and truth like me. Yeah, that's the only thing I want you to do like me. But I don't want you to do it as me being the object of your worship because I ain't got time for that. No, you ain't got time for that. No, no. I, I, I don't want to be high and lifted up. I don't want to be exalted. No, no, no. There's only one Yahuwah Lua. Yeah. And he worthy of all praise, of all honor, and of all acceptance. Yahuwah and Yahuwah alone. Right? So let's go in. Let's go in. Right? So we left off in the 14th chapter of the Wisdom of Solomon. And again, I'm going to recap to you, and you have to understand this, that Shlomo speaks in reference to wisdom and power and her all characteristics of the Ruach HaKadosh of Yahuwah. The Ruach of wisdom, he says, is hers. He should be married. He wanted to marry her. He wanted to betroth her, right? He wanted to, uh, he beheld her beauty. He wanted her with him all around, all the time. That's the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom, right, 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 right. He, 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 he looked at it as the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom. He looked at it as the Ruach HaKadosh of power. How Yahuwah is all powerful. How Yahuwah, by his power, the Godhead, Yahuwah, the Ruach HaKadosh, and Yahushua, Mashiach, the Word, made everything. Right? Right? Right. We made everything. Should be the object of your worship. Should be the object of your praise. Should be the object of your of your adoration. Yes, Yahuwah, Alua. Right? Should be your the object of your worship. Should be the object of your praise. Right? So Shlomo, he understood in his early age and had an appreciation for the Ruach of Yahuwah, the Ruach of wisdom and understanding, Ruach counsel, my Ruach knowledge, fear of the Lord, specifically he asked for an understanding heart to be able to judge Yahuwah's people, right? And second, in First Kings, he said, give me an understanding heart that I may judge your people. In Chronicles, he says, give unto me now wisdom, give me wisdom and knowledge that I might go out and come in before this great multitude for who can rule this great multitude of thine, right? He understood that he needed something supernatural, right? Because in his natural abilities, since the 19, 20 year old young man, he ain't have what it took to get the job done. <laughs> but in his heart, he recognized that and he knew all he needed to go to, do, to was Yahuwah, who had his Ruach HaKadosh that was seated next to him in the Shalim. He knew this. He understood this. He pursued this. And Yahuwah, you know, you said, listen, is this what you want? You ain't asked me for riches. You ain't asked me for wealth. You ain't asked me for the for the for your enemies uh, to be destroyed. You haven't asked me for long life. You know, you ain't asked me for them things, but you ask me um, for the wisdom of the Ruach HaKadosh and the knowledge of the Ruach HaKadosh in order to judge my people. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, he gave it to him. So Shalom's heart was right. His heart was right at the point in which he received this Ruach HaKadosh of power. And what we see is the products of this here in the 14th chapter. Now you understand now, Shlomo has the text, the, 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 the books of Moses, right? He has Dawi's writings, right, right, right? All of which he used, right, in his meditation, right, to be established, right, in this wisdom of Ruach and understanding, this Ruach of knowledge, right? Because he had to have the Torah, right? And, and what, what, what he says reflects his involvement in the Torah. <clears throat> it reflects his time, excuse me, spent in reading the Torah, meditating on the Torah. Oh yeah, meditating on Torah. He has an understanding and a perspective that's supernatural, right? He's be, he's able to to make discernments of dark sayings. He's able to understand the things that Yahuwah says, right? That that Moshe wrote about. He's he's able to understand Yasher. He's able to understand Enoch. Right, right, right. These, these, these are books that he read. He's able to understand Jubilees. I mean, these are all books that he's read. He's meditated on. 
Right? He's meditating on them day and night. He's, he's, he's pursued the Ruach of wisdom. And what we have here in the wisdom of Solomon, what that looks like. Right? So he's talking about idolatry. Right? He's talking about how, how a man will prepare an idol from his hands. Right? He will construct an idol from his hands. Now, you know we left off at the 16th verse. Right? We know we at the 16th verse. And we go into the 17th verse, and it's 17 through 31, right? But but it's important that, again, you know, unless you've listened to the series of the Wisdom of Solomon and you've, you've paid attention to uh, um, the scriptures that I, I've laid out um, and reflected on them, uh, it, bears, it bears necessity of me reiterating things, right? So from necessity, I'm just going to reiterate things. So... And I'm going to do it quick because, you know, I'm not going to spend the whole time in this. But, you know, I, I'm going to do whatever you will tell me to do. Because I'm his servant. Hello. Just in case you didn't know, newsflash, I am his prophet. <laughs> and that's not me exalting my flesh. That's just a statement of fact. I am his prophet. So, he says, again, one preparing himself to sail about to pass through the raging waves calls upon a piece of wood more rotten than the vessel that carries him, right? So we understand that Shlomo was talking about having made idols and the, the valuelessness of them. They can do nothing, right? There is no benefit in an idol which is made with man's hand. Listen, there is no benefit in an idol that has been made with man hands. It doesn't matter if it's made of wood. It doesn't matter if it's made of stone. It doesn't matter. Now, listen. Again, idols, adultery, those that replace Yahuwah. Even though Yahuwah is all power, you choose to go to these other things to, to consult, to pray to, to meditate. Uh, meditate with in the expectations of these things doing what you would do and eh, nada no way it ain't happening right right but you know you know you, you put trust in these things you you put confidence in these things you put trust in people you put confidence in people you know you put confidence in the government you put confidence in wick and food stamps and you put confidence in that stuff right now you put confidence in that. You put confidence in the things that, you know, they tell you this is for your good. You 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 would rather go and stand in line, right, than to trust Yahuwah and make a move. You would rather go in line, wait for a handout, than to wait and trust Yahuwah and go forth and make a move. See, because you know when you when you was witness, you was gonna take care of you. Listen, you was taking care of me right now. Right now you was taking care of me. You was still doing things for me. You was doing things for me right now. Right, listen, listen. I I I'm I am i am i am waiting for the wealth of the wicked to laid up for the just. Yeah, he's doing that for me right now. Sinners have the task of gathering it up to hand it over to me. Yeah, right now that I might advance his kingdom. Yeah, yeah, right now. Yeah, that might establish his kingdom in the arrests. Yeah, I'm going to do everything I can do to advance the kingdom of you or Lewis. I just know you whose word is true. But that's because I trust him and I believe in him. My confidence is in him. My confidence ain't in this system. My, my confidence ain't, ain't, ain't in, in, in President Biden and his, 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 his diplomatic moves with uh, Saudi, right? Uh, uh, in spite of uh, that... That sheik uh, 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 ordering the death of Kashobi or Adobe or anyway, you know he was like one. He's like, oh yeah, no, we we gonna this. He's gonna be punished. He's got to be held accountable, right, right. And now all of a sudden he's running over there and changing up his plan, changing up his words, changing up everything. Why? He think he he gonna he he gonna he gonna he gonna uh, 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 deliver the people, right? He gonna he gonna, he gonna help America. Yeah, he's gonna, he gonna, he gonna be the source to help America, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if you believe that, if you put your faith in that, you put your confidence in that. Listen, 
you're going to be lost. See, I'm, I'm not moved by gas prices. I'm not moved by gas prices. I know you was going to do what I need to do. I'm not moved by the economy and, 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 and concerned about whether or not I'm going to have food. I'm growing stuff in my garden. But, you know, that that's seasonal. Some of that stuff is seasonal. It grows, and then, you know, you still got another season after that. You know, and I, can, I, ain't, I ain't planting no harvest, no 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 acres of stuff. I got a little plot of spot of land that I put stuff on. You know, I'm growing, I'm growing pineapples. I'm growing, I'm growing, I done planted two banana trees and a, and a guava tree. You know, it's going to take a while for them to yield fruit, right? I mean, yeah, I put my peppers, I plant my peppers, my tomatoes, my squash, you know. I got all of my cucumber, I got plant all that stuff, right? Right? But, you know, that stuff ain't going to yield the kind of yield that's going to be necessary to get me where I need to go unless you uh, causes it to supernaturally produce. <laughs> Continually. And see, I'm, I, I just know you will do it. Listen, I know you will. You will let it rain on my, on, on, on my garden and everybody else is be dried up. You don't hear me. Yahuwah will cause my sovereign protection because I put my trust in him. I don't put my trust in men. I do not put my trust in women. I do not put my trust in anything or anybody other than Yahuwah. I love my wife and I have confidence in my wife, right? But you know what? At the end of the day, my trust is in Yahuwah. It's not in her. I love my kids. But I don't put my trust in my kids. No. Listen, you know, I loved being a guardian, working at the school, protecting the kids. But you know what? I couldn't put my trust in that because and they demonstrated that, you know, they wanted me, they needed me. Oh, I gotta have you. Oh, Mr. Walker, please, 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 Mr. Walker, we, you know, we, we need a guardian. You know? And I, okay, okay, I, you know, I jump through all the hoops, take the job, get the job. And then you don't got the courage, to, you don't got the courage to dismiss me. You hired me, but you don't have the courage to dismiss me. Do you think I got my confidence in you? Do you think I got my confidence in a job? Yeah, I'm going to work a job, but you know, Yahuwah is my source. At the end of the day, Shlomo is trying to get you to understand that it is your source. Some of y'all, you know, y'all y'all training y'all kids to be the best athletes in the world so that home day, someday down the road, you can get a big payday. You putting them through through all of the rigors, right? In order to get a payday, you know. Oh yeah, my boy, he gonna go to the NFL. He gonna go to the NBA. Oh, he gonna be a major league baseball player. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna be a ton of star. Yeah. You have made him the object of your idolatry. You have made him, her, the object of your idolatry. You have moved them to the place of Yahuwah. Because you're looking to develop them with your hands. With the hope of an outcome that you will get an, a God that will provide for you. In your old age. <laughs> Some of y'all that like it, but I don't care. You don't like it, but I don't care because Yahuwah don't care. He will have no other L's before him. Exodus 20, 2, 3, 4. And 5, I think it is. It all has to do with you and his name. But he says, listen, again, one preparing himself to sail. You're getting on the boat. The boat is going to take you through the waters that you who are created. Excuse me. That obey his voice, not yours, and definitely not that little god, that little idol that that is that is that is a, that piece of wood that is more rottenness in the vessel that it carries. Right? You talking about? And also could be talking about that rudder, you know, because that rudder is that piece of wood that steers the boat in the water, right? And if your confidence is in that rudder to get you to where you need, then listen. I got news for you. Yahuwah can 
can can put all the water in the boat and take you down. Right. Right? Listen. Calleth upon a piece of wood. You pray to an idol. You know, because you, you know, you, you take these idols with you on trips. Yeah, you know, I used to wear one. Yeah, I did. I used to wear a cross. You'll see it in some of my Facebook pictures. I used to live, I had a cross all the time, right here. Right here. Had an idol. Right? Idol. Around my neck. Cross. Same idol that Yahuwah said you should not have. I had. Idols is, is posted up on all these these traditional church houses. Piece of wood, more rottenness than the vessel that carries them. For very, for verily designed to gain and devise that, and the workman built it by his skill. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, 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 you made this idol, right? You got skills, right? But they pro, but by, but thy providence, O Alua, Father Abba, governeth. You govern the waves that they fly through with that little rudder. And as they bow to that L that they have, right? He said, you the governor. He says, for thou has made the way in the sea. You make a way in the sea. Listen, that's why, you know what? I got history. <laughs> I got all, I got, I got cultural history. I have a Yahuwah Alua who has demonstrated to my ancestors his ability to provide for us. Right? I serve a Yahuwah Lua, right? That has has demonstrated himself to my forefathers. I have a documented historical record of it. Right? He brought them through the Red Sea. Right? Yahuwah, he fed them manna. He gave them quail. Right? He gave them meat till it was coming out of their nostrils. <laughs> he gave them water out of a rock. Struck it. Of course he can he can make a path on the sea. You who makes my path straight every day. Every day I say you will lead me and guide me. Make my path straight. Let me know exactly how and where and what I need to go, when and what I need to do. I'd be perfectly honest with you, I really don't rely much I don't want to rely much on what I do anyway. Uh uh. I mean I renew my mind with the word of you, right? I'm established in the witness. You know, I ain't got no desire to sin, right? No desire to sin whatsoever. But you know what? I don't ever want to get to the place where like, okay, I'm good. I think I make good decisions all the time. No, I, I want to trust the rule I got a dash. Yeah, rule I got a dash, yeah. Yeah, I don't want the rule I got a dash, man. You know, listen, I, I want I want the rule I got dash to lead me and guide me into all truth. Because I understand the sovereignness of Yahuwah. Listen, why would I why would I, why would I put my confidence in man? Why would I put my confidence in man? Why? 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 Why would I put my confidence in man? Why would I put my confidence in the flesh? Why? There's there's this vanity. It's vanity and vexation. You you, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna win. You're going to lose trusting in men. You know, they tell, government tell you to trust the scientists. Trust the science. Trust, trust the witchcraft. Trust trust the sorcery. Come on, y'all. Look up the look up the good definition of these words. Right? Trust it. Trust it. Trust pharmaceutical. Look, 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 look at the, the etymology of these words. Right? The roots of these words. But no, you just, you know, you, you don't, you don't look at it like that. Oh, it's not like that. They're not really doing witchcraft. Who's, who's their father? Hasatan. Who's the El of this earth? Hasatan. He's their father. Children of the devil. Right? 
Children of the devil gonna do what their father tell them to do. Witchcraft. Hasatans, Hasatans, what was demons, fallen angels gave, gave mankind witchcraft, sorcery. That makeup, makeup is a witchcraft. <laughs> it's, a, it's a seduction, a seducing thing. You know? Right. You take some women, man, and be like, Right? And you put them on, put on, put on makeup, and they be like, you be like, right? <laughs> That's witchcraft, man. <laughs> yeah, sorcery. The angels gave it to the daughters of men. I ain't talking about a little foundation. I'm talking about that whole thing that designed and changed. No, a little foundation, no little foundation. You don't need no foundation. You just need to be natural. All that stuff. Listen. Somebody says, oh, you want to preach? You preach against makeup. No, I preach against the violation of the Torah. <laughs> I preach the violation. I preach against anybody that violates Torah. Anybody who violates the witness of Yahushua and Mashiach. Listen, man, you don't understand what you in. Better get your lamps and your vessels stored up with oil, right? Because you don't know when the bridegroom coming. You better be. You better be ready. He says so. But the providence of the Father governeth it. For thou hast made the way to the sea and a safe path in the waves. Yahuwah does. Get on, Yahuwah does. You know, I don't care how big a boat you get on. It pales in comparison to the waves that you can generate that can suffocate. <laughs> Listen, you, 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 you better be trusting you. He says, showing that thou canst save from all danger, you who, by his power, can save, though a man want went to sea without art. Man, w without you. You you still have the capacity to deliver. You still can deliver because that's you and your sovereignty. Right? He said, nevertheless, thou wouldest not that the works of thy wisdom should be idle, and therefore do men commit their lives to a small piece of wood and passing through rough seas in a weak vessel are saved. They don't recognize Yahuwah as a source of getting from one side to the other. But yet you're still merciful and you do what you do. Get from the one side to another. Even though they feel like they got a boat with a rudder. You know, they got some sails that they hoisted up, hoisted up. You know, thinking that they got what they need to get to the other side. When in actuality, it's you who's going to get them to the other side. They don't realize it. They don't, they don't acknowledge it. They don't see you as a source that saved their weak, uh, a wood-rotted vessel. Right? For in old times also, when the proud giants perished, the hope of the world was governed and the hands escaped in a weak vessel that left to all ages and generations the seeds of generations. So he's talking about Noah and how Noah was delivered by the same vessel. An art. You see, you gotta realize now, Shlomo is reading the Torah and he's expounding on it as wisdom is revealed to him in Torah. Right? He expounds on it. Right? He says, For blessed is the wood whereby righteousness comes. Right? Blessed is the wood that led to righteousness. Blessed is the wood that delivered righteous Lot and his family, right, in that ship, ark. And, and carry them through the tumultuous waves and sea to place them on dry land in order to allow that, him and everything in it to come out. That was Yahuwah. But that, but that wood was blessed. That, that wood had a righteous act to play. 
right? They played a, an act that Yahuwah had given to Noah in the form of being able to construct this ark, right? And to go in it and then have Yahuwah Lua be the source. Yahuwah Lua be the guide, right? He says, listen. But that which is made, oh, we just read that. That which is made, but that which is made with hands is cursed. It is. It is. Because the man who made it is cursed. The man who made it is under the curse of the law. Right? He under the curse of the law. And if you who is merciful... Right? You will, 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 will show mercy. You who allows it to rain on the just as well as the unjust. You who demonstrates his mercy unto those whom he pleases, who, who, who he's pleased with. Right? But it's you, the hands that are, are, that are subject to the curse. Right? He says, as well it, as well it, as he hath made it. Right? The man who made the idol, he made because he made it right it and it because being corruptible it is called it out right so here's this man who made an idol that he took with him on the ship right to get over to the other side not recognizing and reverencing you who is for his wisdom and his guidance but you're gonna take this 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 idol that you constructed with your hands because you you corrupt Right? Right? You corrupt. Because you, you, you're not righteous. You, you, you making idols. You sinned against Torah. You would say he'll have no other elves before him. You sinned. If you're sinning, you're corrupt. Right? If you're actively sinning, he's actively making idols to be worshipped. He's corrupt with his hands. Right? And then he corrupting everybody else, calling them God. He's corrupt in the wood. The wood has now become corrupted. Root is, the wood is now defiled because he has turned it into an L. It's not fit for nothing but to be burned. When it was a tree, it provided shade. If properly used, he could have used it to construct a house. Could have took refuge in it. But no, he took it and carved an idol with his cursed hands because he is a sinner. He's violated Torah. He's in the idol making business. You would said he should have no other L's before him. Uh, let's go back to this real quick. Just to recap. This is, we still recap. We're going to get to the, where we headed. Uh, that's all, man. I'm saying it's acting stupid. Anyway, I know the scriptures anyway. Yahuwah says that he will, you, you can't make Im, in a graven image, shape a graven image. You can't do anything to a graven image, Yahuwah said. It's not acceptable, right? Right? You can't make it. You can't chisel it. You can't develop it. You can't, you can't use anything with your hands that you've made as an idol. You fashion. Can't do it. Can't do it. Sure say can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. All right, now my computer's acting beside itself. You ain't gonna stop me, Hasatan. I can't be stopped. Can't stop me, Hasatan. I will not be stopped. No. 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 Right? So, Exodus. Can't stop me. I'm going to preach. He says, in that fourth, ver fourth verse, that 20 chapter there, and thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likenesses that in the Shamaim above or in the earth beneath or that in the water under the earth. Right? Thou shalt not bow thyself to them. You don't bow down and pray to them. You don't bow down and worship them. 
Listen, you don't bow down to these athletes. You don't bow down to these actresses. You know. They sent us. <laughs> you know, if they sin, they sent us. You know. They ain't nobody like that. I'm bowing to Yahuwah. I'm bowing to Yahusha. I'm reverencing you as Ruach HaKadosh. I'm submitting myself to them. I ain't bowing down to nobody else or nothing. No. No. No, no. He says, listen. For Yahuwah Alua is a jealous Alua, visiting the iniquities of the father upon the children to the third and fourth generation to hate him. You making an idol and you causing your children to the third generation to be cursed. He's going to visit the iniquity. He's going to visit the consequences of the sins that you made as a result of the sins that you have created, developed as a result of making these idols. And he's going to pass it down to your children, children, children. Because of your wickedness. He said he'll show mercy unto thousands of them that love him and keep his commandments. You will. Right? So you got to, you got to understand that, you know, you, you, got, you got to do what you says to do. I live the way you would says to live. All right, so let's go on down. Let's pick right up at the 14th verse, and then we're going to be moving right into the 16, 17. He says, For by vain glory men enter, by vain, by the vain glory of men, they enter into the world, and therefore shall they come shortly to an end. Who? Those who are the object of your spiritual fornication. Right? 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 Those that are of the other nations, the Gentiles that have established these 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 L programs for you. You know. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's go to the eleventh verse. Therefore, even upon the idols of the heathen, American idols, America got talent. Everybody trying to be an idol, right? Right? All these songs, all these songs are designed to elevate the flesh of a man to make him an idol, right? Football idols, basketball idols, sports athlete idols, right? All of them, right? The Gentiles, shall there be a visitation? You was going to visit this Idulterous nation, this Babylonian idulterous nation, this uh, United Snakes of America. <laughs> you was going to rain judgment on Babylon, right? For all that it has caused his people to trip and slip up. Listen. Because in the creature, in, in, the, in the creature of the Lua, they are become an abomination. Gentiles and their idols, they're an abomination to you. A stumbling block to the souls of men, right? All these programs, these shows, these things that cause you to turn to yourself, to commune with yourself. To self-talk yourself into believing that you need to be an idol. Yeah. You need to be like Mike. Or be like LeBron. Or be like Stefan. Or be like the Greek. What is Greek? They call him the freak. The Greek. Whatever he is. Listen. To be like them. Right? Right? You, 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 you don't got... The stumbling blocks of the Gentiles. They have made these sports uh, a stumbling block to you. you know, they put together these sporting events. And, you know, they didn't want you in them at first because they know you would dominate. But then they saw the value in bringing you in so that they can control you more. He says... And a snare to the feet of the unwise. And you, you unwise. You unwise. You know, you still living out the 
the iniquities of your fathers from third and fourth generation. You, you unwise and you you, 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 you snared. You know, you caught up in it. You know, you were like, yeah, 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 no, that's, yeah, let's, let's, let's get you, let's get you, uh, so that, you know, you can, you can be a, a pro athlete. You know, starting a boy off at two years old. About five year old, he looked like little Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like young Atlas. <laughs> he fasted and all the other five year old kids that are being five year old kids. <laughs> oh, man. You've been snared. been snared major kids in the fighters boxers got them starting out in junior boxing you know you know you developing them you know you trying to get them to win so they can, you know get some go pro your idol snared right right for the devising of idols with the beginning was the beginning of spiritual fornication. You become a spiritual fornicator. Yeah, and your son is the object of your idol, your fornication, your daughter, right? That athlete, that, that NFL program. Tight, but it's right. It's right. Right? Right? And the inventions of them that corrupt life. They invented these things to corrupt life. Antiochus. Wanting to Hellenize the Hebrews. Make them adopt the Greek culture. And to start uh, the arena game. Getting them to, you know, do the Greek games. All that. The porno media thing. <laughs> you better understand and get a clue. You better read. You better learn. For neither were they from the beginning, neither shall they be in the end. These, these, these. These idols weren't in the beginning and they ain't going to be there in the end. And your, your corrupt idol, sports athlete, sporting events, all that stuff ain't going to be around either. It's going to be an end. You know, you ain't going to handle that. You, you, is, you. Listen, I want to serve in a kingdom where Yahuwah's rest and his presence everything I need. I don't need no sporting event. I don't need no entertainment. Yeah, I'll dance before you. I sing and shout and, and, and dance to you. Yeah, we can have a big hold down to you. We can have a big dance fest, not a hold down, because that word don't even sound right. Hold down. I'm sure that's got some weird connotation to it. But, but celebration, right? Celebrate you. I don't need to be sitting up and watching nobody play, a, throw a football, kick a football. I'm telling you, you better understand what you win. You understand what you win. Because, you know, you're going to be an oddity to people. When you when you accept the witness of Yusuf Mashiach and you begin to walk in this Torah and the, and the revelation of the Torah and the life and the light 
that Yahuwah continues to shine and show you, you 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 gonna be an anomaly to people. <laughs> you know, people gonna look at you like you weird. Like you you weird. Yep. Right up until the time that they get to the point where they're like, Oh man, our fathers have told us lies. We we never knew. Never understood it that way. This man is a well, do we thought was weird. He's he's a he's a prophet of Yahuwah. <laughs> uh, Yahuwah's got him. Listen, you better get a clue. You better get a clue. You better get a clue. Right, he says, fifteen, for a father afflicted with untimely mourning when he hath made the image of his child soon taken away. Yeah. The object of your worship. Your child. Right? Now honor him as a god. Make a statue. Make an image of him. Something you always keep around and can remember him by. Graven images. Photographic images. He says, which was then a dead man and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. We need to remember our brother. Let's get some t-shirts. Sell some t-shirts and Give them to the family so we can remember. We can remember him. Remember a year ago when we lost him. Let's turn one of them for the brother. He says, Thus, in process of time, an ungodly custom grown stronger was kept as a law. Yeah. These remembrances, these, these celebratories, these idolatries of people, kings, pharaohs of Egypt, busts people that we deem important put their bust around yeah that that carved out image stone pharaoh became law graven images are worshipped by the commandments of kings the kings are now like we're gonna worship this image of of uh hotep pharaoh hotep we're going to worship this image. When y'all hear the trumpet sound at noon, everybody face over to the to the idol and pray. When we got our teams down to two and we get ready to play the Super Bowl, everybody come on in and worship. Uh, yeah, I don't like that, but I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. He comes crying loud, spread not to lift up my voice like a trumpet. Zion, Zion, you need to understand that that's idolatry. It's idolatry, right? He says, "Who men could not honor in present because they dwell far off. I couldn't get to you when you were around because you were so far off." But now I have to honor your image and I have to pray to you, right? They took the counterfeit of the vestige from far and made an expressed image of the king whom they honored to the end that by their by this their forwardness they might flatter him that was absent as if he was present. So you made the king an image, right? 
in order to flatter him. In his absence, he did. Or even if he's alive, you got these images that, that are around so that you know you can remember. Yeah, that poster of LeBron James. <laughs> They poster Stephon Curry. <laughs> I know it's tight, but it's right. To the end that by this, their forwardness might flatter him that is absent. Oh yeah. I got LeBron James up there. Or or the girls who got these 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 uh, uh, uh music artists. You know, who they be weaning over. <laughs> Sweening, swining, swining. I don't want to word. <laughs> swooning, swooning. Uh, idols. Idols. As an act of flattering. You know, you know, and, and people, people put people on their bodies. I have my daughters on my chest. I tattoo my daughters on my chest. I don't worship them. But every time I put my shoulder on a mirror or something, I see it. I ain't put no rest in pieces. You know, I ain't walking around here with no actor or actress on my body. <laughs> yeah. Y'all a form of idolatry. You know, you got people who excessively cover their body in tattoos. That's a form of worship. Right? They've allowed a ruach to drive them to that place. That's a worship. It's worship. Listen. Also, also, the singular diligence of an artifice did not, did help to set forward the ignorance of their superstition. So the man who made it, you know, helped forward the superstition. Hey, well, you know, we make an idol of him, you know, it'll, it'll flatter him in the afterlife. So he don't come back. <laughs> this stuff is lunacy, man. But these are the snares. These are the things that trip you up. Also, singular diligence of the artificer did help to set forward the ignorance of the more superstitious. For he preadventure willing to please one in authority, forced all his skills to make a resemblance to be fashioned. He had to please the kings. Did everything in his power to create an original likeness, excuse me. Everything in his capacity. To create this flattering idol. They do that with us. They do that with actors and actresses. Put them in these flattering positions. In these flattering roles. Right? And we get to think that they a certain thing. And they just absolutely the opposite. And then we flatter them by, oh man, 
you know, I loved you, da 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 you know, calling them by their actor name or by their character name. <laughs> As if we don't know the difference. <laughs> For he pre adventure willing to please one in authority, forced all his skills to make the remembrance resemblance to of the best fashion. And so the multitudes allured by the grace of the work took him now for a god which was little before but was honored. He wasn't even that honored when you were a king, but now all of a sudden this image has brought you honor because the people have been snared into believing that somehow this image that you were so good at uh, bringing the resemblance to, right? This image that deems, deems praiseworthy exaltation and worship. Nada. He says, and this was an occasion to deceive the world. It was an occasion to deceive the world. Adultery was an occasion to deceive the world. Hasatan's goal in the exchange that he made with the sons of men for the daughters of men and led the way for the deception of the world. Right? For men serving either calamity or tyranny in kings, whoever served, whether it was Calamity or tyranny, tyranny by, by um, um, being ruthless and or being funny or more outgoing, easygoing, right? Did ascribe unto stone and stock an incommutable name because they were made idols. Because a man had a skill, and that skill led to the deception of the world. It led to the deception of the world. He says, Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of Elua, but whereas they lived in great war of ignorance, though so great pledged called to peace, right? For while they slew their children in sacrifices and used secret ceremonies or made revealings of strange rites. Hmm. Sounds like the Masons. Sounds like the, the Shining Long Stars. What's the minute called? The uh, Eastern Stars. Yeah. It's like the Omega Psi Fives and the Kappas and the Deltas. These deceptive practices, these rites, the bull and the skull and bones. Sacrifices. Marriages. You know, this I forget is it the Mason? It's one of those lodges. They have these men in their black suits with their white handkerchiefs around their waist and they got little boys under uh, 
walking next to him in white shirts and uh, they got uh, the veils over their faces like they're brides. What kind of perverse ride is that? Okay, you, know, you, you don't understand. I understand. These things are closely related. If you wanted to be the Greek Omega dogs, the cute dog, woof, woof. You want to be a dog, woof. These rights. He said, they kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. They did everything that these rights required or even entertained. You got to be a part of us. You know, you got to. You want to you want to make it in the rap industry. You got to do this to me. Yeah, you want this. You got to take it this way. Strange rights, strange practices. You gotta drink blood, human blood. You gotta eat human feces. Wicked. He says, so that there reign in all men without exception blood. Slaughter, manslaughters, theft, dissimulation, corruption, unfaithfulness, tumult, uh, perjury, disquieting a good man, forgetfulness of good turns, defiling souls, changing of kind, changing of kind. This order in marriage, adultery, shamelessness, and uncleanness for the worship of idols not to the be named in the beginning that caused the end of all evil. Now, what's that, what's that sound like? That sounds like. That sounds like a uh, computer act. Stupid again. It's okay, though, because I'm, I'm patient. It sounds like Romans 1. <laughs> sounds like it's a quote from Romans 1. Right? Oh, yeah, we're going to go there. Romans 1. Romans 1. Come on here, you know. It's all good. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's just acting up. I'm just going to go. I'm, I'm just going to have to go flip to the page. Oh. He said, Romans 1, right? Romans 1 and 20. For the invisible things from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, right? Because that when they knew Elua, they glorified him not as Elua, neither were thankful, but became vain, vanity, worthless. In their imaginations and their fools, their hearts were darkened, right? Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. He says, listen, and changing the glory of the incorruptible Alua into the images made like unto corruptible man and of birds and of four-footed beasts and creeping things, right? Wherefore 
Alua also gave them over to uncleanness. Hmm. Through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of Alua into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who blessed, who blessed forevermore, right? And then it says, and for this cause, the Lord gave them up to vile affections, right? Women burning their lust towards one another, right? Men, men, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves, a re just recomp receiving in themselves the recompense of the error, which was meat, right? And even as they did not retain Alua in their knowledge, Alua gave them over to reprobate mind to do, do those things which are inconvenient, right? Being filled with all unrighteousness and fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of Alua, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, ritual rites. And disobedient to parents, without understanding, truth break, covenant breakers, without natural affections, right? Implacable, unmerciful, right? Who knowing the judgment of Lua, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Right? Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them to do them. Now what? This is the same thing he says. And... The wisdom of Solomon, right? Same thing. He says, he says, he says in verse 21. And this was an occasion to deceive the world for men serving either calamity or tyranny did ascribe unto stones and stocks immutable name, right? Right. Moreover, this was enough for them. This was, was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of Alua. They did not retain Yahuwah in their knowledge. It's the same thing. Shlomo, I mean, uh, 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 Shaul is referencing Shlomo. He's referencing the wisdom of Ecclesiastics. He's, no, he, he's referencing the wisdom of Solomon, right? He's referencing the same thing. He says, he says, moreover, this was not enough for them and that they erred in the knowledge of Alua. But whereas they lived in the great wars of ignorance, those who were great plagues called thy peace, right? Now listen. For while they slew their children in sacrifices or used secret ceremonies, right, right, or may reviling of strange rites. This is what they did, right? They kept their lives. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer, right? He gave them over men, men with men and women with women, working that which is unseemly, right? No longer undefiled, right? Because an undefiled marriage is a marriage that is intact, man and woman. That's not adulterous not a man with another woman, or not pornea or homosexual or lesbian, right? Right, that's pornea, that's 4202, Strong's reference, Greek, right? He said, listen, right? He says uh, that they kept neither lives nor marriage any longer defiled, undefiled, but either one slew another traitorously or gave him to adultery, or grieved him by adultery. I'm sorry, grieved him by adultery. Grave who? Grave you, right? By doing what? Adultery, right? Disquieting of good men, right? Messing up good people, right? Forgetful to forgetfulness of good turns, not doing good, right? Defiling of souls, changing of kinds, changing of kinds, changing mankind with womankind and making it mankind with mankind and womankind with womankind. Hey, disorder in marriage, right? 
role reversals, right? Women become the head of the marriage. Adultery and shameless uncleanness. Shameless uncleanness. You gave them over to vile affections. Shameless, vile affections. Right? Shameless. He said shameless uncleanness. They ain't got no shame. Right? Uncleanness, right? For the worshiping of idols not to be the net not to be named in the beginning, the cause and the end of all the evil. So idolatry is the cause. The shameless idolatry was the cause. Right? Of all the evil. He says, now listen, twenty eight. For either they are made when they be merry or prophesy lies. Oh, a little bit too fast. I don't know why that's doing it. For either they were mad when when they be merry or prophesy lies or live unjustly, or else light, 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 lightly for swearing themselves, right? So they enter into agreements, but not with the intentions of keeping them, right? They're unjust, right? They're angry, um, and they tell lies, right? In as, for in as much as their truth is in idols, right, which have no life, through their false swearing, they're swearing falsely, yet they look not to be hurt. Got these idols. You made these idols. You don't look like it's hurting you, but it is. You know, you didn't gave yourself up to lying false prophecies. You've given yourself over to unjust swearing and and uh, uh, um, um, you've given yourself over to foul affections. You know, you've taken marriage and you profaned it with adultery and your shameless pornonia, right? Right? Uh, um, you're manslaughterers. You're thieves. You're, you're corrupt. You're unfaithful your uh, uh, um, tumults, your fighting, and your perjury, your lying, all because of idolatry. Because who is not the object of your worship. See, it's all about Yahuwah. If Yahuwah is the object of your worship, then these things aren't once named amongst you as becometh his code of shame. You don't do these things. You don't practice these things. You don't allow these things to be a part of you. Right? Because they're shameless. That's why he says, for the worship of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. Right? It's the beginning because... It does not occur until one takes his object of worship off of Yahuwah and put it into graven images or other things, right? And again, you know, I ain't talking about, you know, you always building statutes. I'm talking about some of the people that you lift up and elevate are your idols. You know, Hollywood idols, athletic athlete idols. You know, music industry idols. You know. He says, for in so much as their trust is in idols, which have no life, they cannot do anything for them. Right? Though they falsely swear, yet they look not to be hurt. Right? How be it for both 
cause shall they be justly punished. You you gonna you gonna be punished. Who is gonna judge your idolatry? He's gonna judge your mocking. He's going to judge your idolatry. And you better repent. How be it for both cause shall they be justly punished. Both because they through they though not well of Alua, right? Giving heed to unto idols, and also justly swearing, sw having sworn in deceit, despising holiness. Right? They didn't think of Yahuwah. They thought not well of Yahuwah. They did not worship Yahuwah. They did not exalt Yahuwah. They put their confidence in things, in people, right? They gave more credence to idolatrous activities. They worshiped at the football arena. They worshiped at the basketball arena. They worshiped their elves. They worshiped. They put they put these before you who ain't nothing that I got that that's gonna be ever put before you. I already told you. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing I got. Ain't nothing that's going to be elevated above you. Nothing. No thing. Nada. No way. Nothing. You're not my kids. Not my wife. Not the things that I own. Not the things that I possess. None of them are going to replace you. Ain't none of them are going to get to a place where they're elevated above you. No. Out of the question. Nada. No way. It ain't happening. Because they can't do nothing for me. You who can do all things for me. Yeah, it doesn't mean that they don't love you. Don't mean that they don't give you. You know, they don't mean. No, but listen, the idea is that Yahuwah is supreme. So you go all in in Yahuwah. Yahuwah is going all in for you. I'm all in for Yahuwah, and Yahuwah is all in for me. I'm that prophet that will cry loud and spare not. I'm that prophet that will lift up his voice like a trumpet Zion and tell you, no, you can't go to that football game and be yelling. At the at the at the quarterback and at the running back and and rejoicing and jumping and praising for this 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 worship of 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 men. He says, "How be it? For both cause shall they be justly punished. You only punished both." Because they thought not well of Alua, right? They gave heed to idols and also justly sworn in deceit, despising holiness. They've sworn in deceit. They made prayers and sacrifices to these idols. That's deceit. It's deceitful. He says, how be it for both cause shall they be justly punished, both because they thought not well of Alua, giving heed unto idols, and also swearing, just unjustly sworn in deceit, despising holiness. You despise Yahuwah when you despise, you, you despise Yahuwah when you despise holiness. Because Yahuwah is holiness. Right? For it is not the power of them by whom they swear, but it is his vengeance of sinners that punish always the offense of the ungodly. What's the object of your worship? Is it Yahuwah, Lord? 
or do you have you have little idols scattered everywhere that you make sure you give credence to? You have little idols that you make time for. Little idols that you worship. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, Shabbat. We the people book broadcast is going down. It's the Shabbat. And listen, make no mistake about it. We serve the most high. We the people book broadcast look it's gone down. I've cried out of spirit now. I said what you would have told me to say. I don't take nothing back. No take backs. I serve the most high. Going out to Hezekiah's, the most high. I don't own the rights to this music. Yahweh, I give you praise for your Shabbat. I give you praise for the lesson that you've given me concerning the Shabbat. I pray that it would cause those who hear it to be made alive. That it would bring them to the knowledge of the truth. The Ruach HaKadosh is a revealer of truth. Yahuwah, I thank you in the name of Yahushua Mashiach for your witness. I thank you for your witness. I thank you for your witness. I thank you for your witness. Yahuwah, I pray that your word will be established in your people. Those that you have chosen, those that you have called to receive your word, that they would receive it. Yahuwah, I pray that you would let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Man of y'all, woman of y'all, that's it. It's the Shabbat. And I love Yahuwah. And I worship him on his Shabbat. I'm going to do what he tell me to do. I'm going to declare his word. I'm going to tell you you must be born again. You must be born of the water of the Ruach HaKadosh. And that you must receive the Ruach HaKadosh. You must receive the water and the blood. I'm going to tell you that. With that I say, listen. Man of Yah called the greatest woman of Yah called the greatest woman of Yahuwah. Beautifully wonderfully made. Yahuwah has favored you today. Walk in that favor. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Be blessed. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth, Torah Nation.